You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. We have students in studio, and not just any students, students from Martin Luther High School in Greendale, Wisconsin. And we are excited to chat with them today and learn more about their life at school. We'll share that story with you in just a moment. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting The Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. Joining us in studio today, we have Amelia, senior at Martin Luther High School in Greendale, Wisconsin. Amelia, welcome to the Coffee Hour. Thank you for having me. And thanks for sharing some wonderful music with us in chapel this week. And uh, also joining us today, we have Dylan. Good morning, Dylan. Good morning. Also a senior at Martin Luther High School as well? Yes. Congratulations to both of you. We Thank also you. have <laughs> faculty and staff with us today. We have Mr. Ben Bedrowski, choir director at Martin Luther High School. Welcome this morning. Thanks for having me. And Aaron Janetsky, assistant principal for Martin Luther High School in Greendale, Wisconsin. Good morning. Well, thank you all for making the trip to St. Louis to come spend some time with us at the LCMS International Center, sharing wonderful sacred music with us in chapel this week. It was just fantastic to hear that. And I have to say, I I quietly sing along on Cantate Domino because <laughs> what high school student who sings sacred music doesn't sing that? It's a wonderful piece. It is, it is it the classic. Yep. <laughs> it is. Yep. I didn't sing out loud, though. I just, I, I follow along in, in yeah, audio. So, what's that? You were audied. Audiating is, the, oh, man. Amen. Yep. Wow. A's for the day. We got, we're getting a vocabulary lesson today. Okay, well, now you have to elaborate. I appreciate that. Dylan, thank you for sharing. What What is audiating? <laughs> So you don't sing out loud, you sing in your head your part, so you don't disturb anyone. Ah. That's the hope. Choral Sarah. directors love that, don't Yes. They? Yeah. <laughs> so, Sarah, how often do you audiate? All the time. All day long. <laughs> yeah. Basically, all day long. Yeah. <laughs> so so these wonderful students um, brought wonderful sacred music to us this week, and we want to learn a little bit more about your life as students at Martin Luther High School. So, Amelia, let's start with you. Why did your family choose Martin Luther High School in Greendale, Wisconsin for you? Well, first of all, it's because we live like five minutes away, but also I really wanted to go to a Lutheran high school and driving all the way out to Lake Country Lutheran is like a 45 minute drive. And I did not want to do that every day. But also when I shadowed my eighth grade year of grade school, it was just a really unique experience and I never like seen anything like it. When I I went on a Wednesday, so we had chapel that day and there was like praise band and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like, I want to come here. So the music is kind of really what brought me to Martin Luther. And then during choir, unfortunately, the director was out sick that day. So the students led choir and I was like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. They actually sound really good. Even though <laughs> students are leading, like, this is so awesome. Very cool. Music is a good play, a good reason to to choose a school. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Dylan, what about you? Why did your family choose Martin Luther High School for? We also live like really close. We have like 10, eight, 10 minutes away. And I also went to a feeder school of Martin Luther. So I was like kind of encouraged. And like we went there for adventure. We saw their plays. They've hosted things. We had, when I went to the open house there, just really like the overall environment. The directors, when I talked to them, I heard they were super nice. One of them sadly retired last year, but we, we got a new director, so it's okay. Yeah, but it's the the music was probably a big part because the directors were very welcoming, and when I auditioned for stuff my freshman year, they were very pleased with what I what I sounded like and what I brought to the table, and they were just very nice. Awesome. And both of you are in both band and choir for what, all four years? Yeah. Correct. That's awesome. A lot of music. It's good stuff. That is a lot of music. So both of you are seniors. How has how have your four years at Martin Luther prepared you for what you're going to be doing post graduation, Dylan? It's prepared. It's it's prepared. It's prepared you a lot more new than I expected it would. Um, in college, I plan on continuing to play music. I don't know if I plan on singing, but I definitely plan on playing in the ensembles there and all that, and just enjoying that. And the way that our like band director runs things is just like very similar to how a like a college fan would and, and like very professional in that act and like just kind of like the same environment that that is amelia how about you how, how has martin luther high school been preparing you for this next step after graduation um well like all of the ap teachers they treat you like you're in college like they don't treat you like you're still in high school so that's definitely giving us a preview to what's ahead but then as dylan said also 
like the music. I'm planning to major in music therapy, so I will be continuing to do music throughout college with band and choir. So I'm really hoping that that, you know, helps me with that. And then also we're taking AP Music Theory this year, which is definitely, which is, it's, yeah, (laughs) yes, yes, it is. But that's when I went to Carroll University to just like an open house, they talked a lot about that and they asked me, are you taking this? And I was like, yes, I am. So that's definitely helping me. Awesome. Lots of respect. <laughs> These high schoolers are smarter than me. Just I, putting that out there. I, I took music theory one in high school, not AP. We didn't have AP music theory then. And that was challenging enough. I can't imagine doing it for, because I had to take it again in college. <laughs> I did not. I took theory one in college. Ooh, it was lots of respect. So kudos oh, yeah. to you. So what do you enjoy most about being part of the choir or the music program at Martin Luther High School? I really like the environment overall. Everybody is like when we're all together, it just it's so different. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> but like today when we were singing, um, Christus Factus Es is my favorite piece that we're singing. And especially where um, the, the echo that we heard when we had rest and stuff, it was just so cool. So definitely the performing aspect is one of my absolute favorites because when everything just comes together, especially looking back at the beginning when we just got this music that's in Latin and not everybody's used to Latin Mm -hmm. and it's just super difficult. And my choir director in my church was like, I can't believe you people are singing this. (laughs) So that was really cool. And just to hear it now, like the transition from the beginning to right now, it's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, that is not an easy piece. You guys did that really well. Dylan, what about you? Uh, what do you enjoy about being in choir at Martin Luther High School? You get to hang out with your friends a lot, and I really like that. Like, you kind of get to, <laughs> you get to go on tour, you get to you get to goof off with your friends for a lot. You get to miss a week of school like we are right now, so that's <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the main reason I chose choir and band, though. It's like, it's just like a fun aspect. And like, it does really feel like a family and like performing aspects and like, just performing is really fun you get to go to all types of different churches all different Mm -hmm. types of environments you can go you get to see some of the prettiest things we went to a choir camp when we were like 12 we got to stay in the basilica in st louis oh nice it was beautiful yeah it's like it takes you places that you really never like could see like i if you told me freshman year that i'd be in a studio right now getting interviewed about music (laughs) i would have called you crazy (laughs) and here you are yeah, I'm right here. Look at that. It's real life. Yeah, the tour is one of the best parts about being in in, uh, in music programs in school, for sure. That's awesome. Now, Mr. Mr. Bajorski, how are the arts a uh, part of education at Martin Luther High School? Well, I, in my time at Martin Luther, I just started in January. So so maybe Ms. Janeski can fill in a little bit more, too. But from... Uh, my time working at uh, another church at our Redeemer Lutheran Church in another suburb of Milwaukee. Some of our staff would come in at times for chapels and and help lead music for chapels and then getting to know the former directors there and seeing seeing the work that they did and seeing how how the students' faith life in the school was so integrated then into music was something that as I started in January, I thought like that's really exciting and it's really something where... Um, say in public schools where I um, had taught previously to to my job at Our Redeemer, it's something where you can speak about things in a sort of an abstract and general way, but it is never directly applied, and it's never it's never something that can reach at the heart of where the mu- any great choral music or any great choral music program is going to be doing sacred music, and but you sort of have to leave. As you get closer to the heart, you have to sort of leave that as only implied. It isn't something that is shared by the ensemble. Whereas at Martin Luther, it is really something where the ensemble together as a community can share in that. And then even on tour or on Sunday morning singouts, where the music is shared and sung in worship as the as most of the music that we're performing was written for, it it adds L- adds many layers of directness and authenticity to the experience with the music rather than just studying and performing it, which is what, where it sort of has to leave off in most places. I hadn't really thought about that, but 
Yes, when when what you're singing is what you believe and confess that mm -hmm. there's you approach it so differently. Ms. Janetsky, how about you? What's your perspective on how the arts, especially music, plays a role in the life of students at Martin Luther High School? So we have about 625 students and we, we know we have all our extracurricular activities, some of them being sports, some of them being fine arts, our spiritual life. Those are all kind of part of our pillars and fine arts has definitely been one that has continuously been that pillar. I graduated from Martin Luther in 1997, and I got to play in band all four years. And so I actually have two daughters who are also in the choir who are here with us this tour. And they, you know, they just knew, you know, how much they loved hearing stories about tour. My husband also in his high school in Michigan, he was in choir. And so they were very you know, like, oh, you know, music is just around us, around us. And then just seeing that these students, they love what they do. And I think Dylan said it right, that it's like a family. They, you know, you see them in the halls, they have their little inside jokes. <laughs> uh, and, but it's also students from all different walks of life. So we have a very diverse population as well. And so it is very, it doesn't matter if you grew up Lutheran or if you are just, if Martin Luther is your first time experiencing anything in the Lutheran world. A, they come from everywhere and they just connect and to see that the way they sing, the way that they you know, interact with each other is just a very awesome thing to be a part of. Yeah, we have just about a minute or two left. Uh, but what makes Martin Luther High School a unique place for these students in the Milwaukee area? So kind of going off of that is that fact that we're very diverse. We actually we kind of say we look like the United States. We have a large international program as well. So most of our students in that program are from Asia, but so we have populations from all over the world. But also that students are involved in everything and mm -hmm. a lot of things. So 75% of our students are involved in extracurricular activities. Both of these lovely people are also <laughs> play sports as well. So it's not just, you don't have to just be in one or the other. And so we want to make sure that students are getting that opportunity in every aspect of their high school career. Real quick before we go, how do we learn more about Martin Luther High School in Greendale? Yep, Greendale, which is a suburb of Milwaukee. So we, you can go to website uh, www.martinlutherhs.org. Otherwise, we love Facebook. We Facebook <laughs> Live our chapels three times a week. We post something almost every day of just what's going on in the classroom. So that's just Martin Luther High School. And then it would be Greendale, Wisconsin. Very good. Thank you all for sharing wonderful sacred music with us and spending some time in the studio. I know you all have more to do on your tour. So thank you so much for making some time for us here on the Coffee Hour. Amelia, Dylan, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for sharing your stories with us today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Ms. Janetsky and Mr. Bedrowski, thank you so much for yeah. joining thank us. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Thanks. You've been listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. The Coffee Hour with Andy and Sarah is a production of KFUO. To support The Coffee Hour and KFUO Radio, visit KFUO.org. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at KFUO.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you anytime, anywhere. Anywhere.